When you're getting ready to record a video or write an article, who do you have in mind? I hope that you don't have anyone critical or negative in mind. I hope you don't even have your audience in mind, especially if, when you're just getting going and you're trying to unblock yourself and trying to create content consistently. Here is the tip I want to share with you. Make your content for just one person at a time. In other words, have in your mind one caring person. Maybe it's a, a kind friend or a supportive colleague, a true fan. Bring that person to mind and to heart before you start to record, before you start to write. Think about that one person and your connection with them. In fact, you might even ask yourself, hmm, I'm, I'm thinking about this one topic. What, do you, what question do you have for me? You can ask that person in your mind, in your heart, what question do you have for me about this? What, what might you want to know about this? And then write your article or make your video. If you make your content for one caring person at a time, it tends to be much more natural for you to be authentic, to be conversational, to be less afraid, to be not afraid. So I got this tip from my favorite book on public speaking. One of the, um, some, a few of you have said over the years, oh, George, you seem really good at public speaking. Do you have any resources? Yes, I have one book for you. And that book is Be Heard Now by Lee Glickstein. Be Heard Now. And that book, I'll show you with really one tip, which is that when you're speaking to an audience, now, of course, back then he was talking about live audiences. Most of us speak to you know, virtual audiences these days. But when you're speaking in a live audience, imagine yourself um, not speaking to the whole audience because then that's how most beginner public speakers do it. They kind of just trying to take the whole audience in and it feels awkward and it's hard to look at everybody at once, you know, and it's intimidating. But instead, he said, find one welcoming face in the audience and look just at that one person with, you know, and, and just connect to that one person and talk to that one person for 15 seconds with whatever you know, thing you're, you're trying to say in, the, in your speech, talk to that one person for 15 seconds. And then find another welcoming person in the audience, welcoming face, and talk to that other welcoming face for 15 seconds. And then just on and on. And by doing that, there's a magic that happens. The magic is somehow the whole audience feels your connection to that one person at a time. It's amazing. Because, and it's not a surprise because you know when you are talking with one kind friend, when you're talking with one supportive colleague, you're in relationship, you're natural, you're authentic, you're connected, you are in response, you are caring, you're in, in, in response to their care for you. And so, of course, you're not going, you're not being afraid. You're, you're trying to express, you know, what you really want to express. You're trying to help that person. So do that same thing when you're on Zoom or when you're making a video uh, looking at your camera lens. Do that same thing when you're writing an article. Don't think about your audience and certainly don't think about any, anyone judgmental. But take a few moments to bring to mind and heart that one caring audience member. And then go ahead and create your content. I hope this is helpful. I uh, want to thank... Um, Leah here for sharing uh, here in the chat. So I hope you'll use this tip and I hope you'll let me know how it goes as you use this. For those of you who don't know me, I'm George Cow, authentic business coach. I love helping people build businesses that, that feel genuinely connected to their hearts and to the hearts of others. I wish you well and go forth and create some resonant content because you're creating it for one caring person at a time. Take care.